Hello everyone, you are watching skyrider.com and now we are on the almost the fourth cause of the atraumatic osteonecrosis of the femoral head and that includes the osteochondritis or osteochondritis desiccans. We will be going through the pathogenesis, the clinical presentation, imaging and treatment of this rare disorder. Osteochondrosis or osteochondritis is actually a group of conditions in which there is a demarcation and sometimes separation of the necrosis of small fragment of articular cartilage and bone. Now this is actually a CT which is showing a transverse plane CT and if you see over here, this is the articular cartilage. The bone is actually necrosed and this articular cartilage have actually collapsed like this resulting in osteochondritis. Similarly, this is also showing the ankle joint. The talus uh, has this a small piece which is actually has necrosed and cart cartilage has collapsed leading to this kind of appearance in which a very small piece is actually separated from around and near the joint. This is also showing a sagittal view of the same talus showing the depression leading to as the bone has actually necrosed the article surface has collapsed leading to this kind of an appearance. The same patient may be having this kind of an x-ray in which there is definite leucencies along with a very small rim of sclerosis or sclerotic part which is probably the dead bone which is actually attached to the cartilage. What actually happens is all the subchondral bone is present around the artic articular cartilage uh, in the joint. Once that uh, bone becomes necrosed, the articular uh, cartilage which has actually been supplied by the uh, uh, the bone area because the articular cartilage does not have its own blood supply but rather this oxygen and all the molecules are actually transferred diffused from those uh, bone back into the articular cartilage because once the, the bone which was actually supplying the articular cartilage is dead this will result in the necrosis of the articular cartilage as well and if you can appreciate over here if it heals this probably gets collected as a healed region but if it does not heal this usually a small part of the bone is separated along with the articular cartilage leading to uh, osteoarticular dis osteochondrosis or osteochondritis desiccans. Coming to the clinical presentation. Osteochondritis desiccans usually can occur at the elbow or it can occur at the knee. Inner medial surface of the medial femoral condyle is the most common area. Anterior medial corner of the talus in the ankle superior medial part of the femoral head this is where it can occur and the humeral capitulum or head of the second metatarsal bone around the elbow it's usually in the capitulum in the foot it's in the second metatarsal bone other areas include the superior medial part of the femoral head anterior medial corner of the talus and inner surface of the medial femoral condyle symptoms include intermittent pain swelling small joint effusion and locking of joint or unexpected episodes of giving away. Why intermittent pain is going on? Because this is definitely necrosis or collapse of the bone. This leads to swelling, a small joint effusion because there will be increased inflammatory response in the joint. This once inflammatory response is there, sometimes these small parts which actually become the dead bone are uh, dispersed into the joint as a loose bodies where they may produce a locking of a joint in an unexpected way or giving we have a feeling in which there is uh, uh, sometimes during the movements especially in case of the knee joint. Now this is showing a medial femoral condyle. You can appreciate here that the article surface has collapsed because the bone has necrosed underside the article surface. This is showing the osteochondrous desiccans of the elbow so in which the capitulum has actually necrosed. Over here, this is the sorry talus in the, uh, in the ankle joint where the, this is actually uh, osteochondrous desiccans of the talus. This is the cap osteochondrous desiccans of the capitulum in which the bone has collapsed due to the producing lucency. This is a small uh, bone which is actually a dead bone attached to the article surface which is actually seen as a sclerotic spicule over here. So treatment depends which joint is involved and uh, which area is involved. For example, in case of knee and in case of elbow, it can be easily done by simply arthroscopy. But if it gets an ankle or some other joint, sometimes it's done with arthroscopic treatment, sometimes it's not. It simply is a load reduction, restriction of activity, depending upon the grade which is there. 
Other include for large joint, partially detached fragments may be pinned back in position after roughening of the base. Completely detached fragments may be pinned back only if they are fairly large and completely preserved. For example, if there is a very small loose body in the knee, that probably can simply be taken out. But if it contains a very large piece, then probably we need to fix it back so there is not a not lot of uh, article surface uh, loss in the knee joint and then they can be probably screwed back arthroscopically or by an open technique. Arthroscopy is highly used in these cases. Now we are coming to spontaneous osteonecrosis of knee are called as SONC. As the name implies it is spontaneous osteonecrosis. This is usually not associated with any other of the atraumatic causes which we have just previously discussed. There may be no other symptoms the patient may present with knee pain, swelling and all these symptoms and one on x-ray we may note that the patient on one of the femoral condyles may have osteonecrosis as in case this is showing early degenerative changes of the osteonecrosis. Treatment usually it appears in the elderly and osteoporotic people, usually female. Lesions inevitably appear on the highest part of the middle femoral condyle. And the important point is that if the patient, we have to rule out other causes of osteonecrosis. It's kind of a diagnosis of occlusion. If no other cause, we can label this that this is a spontaneous osteonecrosis of knee and probably the treatment is total knee replacement. Thank you very much. Keep watching scardy.com.